Hey guys, so mom is feeling a little under the weather and it's not Rona. But I'm making her some chicken soup from whatever I have here in my house. So literally yesterday she was craving El Pollo Loco, which is fine with me because as long as she has an appetite, I don't care, I'll get her whatever she wants. And from the leftover El Pollo Loco, I am going to make a chicken vegetable soup. So since the chicken already has seasoning on it, I literally just threw it in the pot with water and I have it boiling. So chicken's already cooked. It doesn't have to boil that long, but all the seasonings and everything from the chicken is going to make the broth taste really, really good. And since it's chicken on a bone, it's gonna be even better. You wanna kinda of try to use chicken that's on a bone. Peeling potatoes, three potatoes. Literally, this is like the type of soup that whatever you have right now, especially during these times, it's really hard to find stuff, use it. If you have canned vegetables, we're gonna use those. Fresh vegetables, of course, is best. Um, I was able to find potatoes, I got some yellow squash, um, cabbage, celery, some already cut up sweet potatoes, um, what else do we have? and a little bit of broccoli. You can throw it in there. All right, so chopping up all my veggies, and I'll show you guys the soup it's already making. So that is my chicken broth, okay? Remember the chicken was already cooked. So you really don't have to add anything to the water. Just put the pieces to boil and they're already coming off the bone. I had two chicken breasts. Oh, my lens is good. Sorry. Two chicken breasts and like four legs for my broth. And see, this is just the color of the broth right now with literally just throwing the chicken in there and letting it boil. So I'm gonna let it boil until it kind of falls off the bone in my chicken breast. And let that boil while I'm prepping my vegetables. So when I'm making veg, oh, by the way, I have the worst culinary skills when it comes to cutting <laughs> vegetables and stuff. I just, I need to go to a class that teaches knife technique because mine is pretty bad but when it comes to the potatoes you kind of want to make them kind of big and chunky because they kind of disappear in the boiling water and you don't want your your soup to turn into mush with overcooked vegetables i hate when that happens so you can make them about this size this is kind of too big so like big chunks, because it's gonna come out smaller than that anyway. So I'm cut up my three potatoes. Also, I didn't even put any salt seasonings or anything in the water, because <laughs> if you ever had a boil local, you know that that chicken is seasoned. You don't need to do nothing to it. These are those knives where the food sticks to the side of them and they're good knives, but sheesh. Also in my broth, I'm gonna add some dry cilantro adobo mix only cause I want that cilantro taste. I also had some pico de gallo inside of my refrigerator. I'm gonna use that, throw it in there, spice it up. And I have a can of Rotel stewed tomatoes. I'm gonna throw that in there too. Literally guys, vegetable soup, you could throw anything in it. Flavor's always gonna come out good. So. My potatoes. If there's any chefs out there that want to give me an online cooking knife technique, 
I'll work on that class right now. For real. You can teach me a thing or two online. Okay. The sweet potatoes that I found at Whole Foods are already cut up and they're kind of cut up small. So I'm gonna wait a little while. I'm not gonna throw them in when I throw in my potatoes, but I'm gonna throw them in a little bit after because I don't wanna overcook them. All right, so potatoes. I'm gonna chop up celery. Yellow squash is really good to add into soup. Also plantains, because Spanish girl. Plantains are amazing to add into soup. It kind of gives you like a tortilla soup feel. This is so much fun. Usually my videos are a little bit more professionally made, but I'm not setting up no tripod. And the way my camp my kitchen is angled, it's kind of hard to get y'all a good shot. So I hope you don't mind us. That's the best I can do. All right, I'm gonna chop up all my veggies and I'll come back and show you everything I'm putting in the pot. Okay guys, so I kind of skipped ahead of you, but I added my vegetables in. There's potatoes, sweet potatoes, celery, broccoli, um, all in the soup. I'm about to take the chicken out and take it off the bone so that you don't have big chunks of chicken in it. First I did the potatoes and then about 20 minutes after that i did the sweet potatoes because they were already cut up and i added the celery and the broccoli all at the same time i'm about to add my yellow zucchini or yellow squash sorry and then the last thing i'm gonna add is the cabbage so i'm gonna let this boil for a little bit and i'll be back all right guys final step i put the cabbage in that's the very last thing you want to do i already took some of the chicken off of the bone I have a few pieces that I threw in last minute that I'm gonna go ahead and let those just sit in there and simmer. But I literally put the cabbage in a minute ago and you see it's already tender and soft. That's why you wanna wait till the very end to add the cabbage. But all my other vegetables are already cooked and ready and this soup is gonna be done literally in five more minutes. All right, guys, I'm super excited because I found some corn. <laughs> I know. Quarantine soup, man. You got to get what you can get. This was the last minute breast that I put in, so I still got to take that one off the bone. But all the other pieces of chicken I took off the bone already. And there's our potatoes, yellow squash, sweet potato, broccoli, celery, cabbage is already done. And the corn is just warming up in there also. But... There you go. It's a pot of chicken veggie soup for you. Hope you enjoy it. 